First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yehovah. Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well in a sincere salutation to Yahweh Kim and Yahweh to believe in all sincerity. So, this video is entitled Foot Washing, okay? And the channel is He Gets Us. All right. And I'm going to play this and get some scriptures, Lord willing, you are edified. And um, basically, they're trying to. Uh, you know, parody, if you will, um, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, when he washed the feet of the disciples. Okay, and in this ad that ran during the Super Bowl, it pissed off some Christians. All right. <clears throat> it says here in the description, the night before he died, um, it says Jesus, but we know his true name is Yahweh Shai, got his friends and followers together and washed their feet as a symbolic example of how they should humble themselves while dignifying and valuing others. How would our contentious world change if people, especially those with opposing ideologies, took off their shoes and washed each other's feet? <clears throat> and, um, you know, the thing is that when you go to the uh, actual... account of Yahweh Shai washing the feet of disciples it tells you exactly that after that he poured water into a basin John 13 and 5 and began to wash the disciples feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded okay so he washed the disciples feet you know not just anybody's feet okay scriptures say no to whom thou dost doest good Okay, but see, these uh, Christians, you know, these religions don't know the scriptures like that. I believe it's in the Apocrypha. Know to whom thou doest good. All right. And people like to tiptoe the line, okay, of who is a believer and who is not. This is Ecclesiasticus 12 and 1. When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it, so shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits, okay? Because you do good to people who are wicked and evil, okay? You're not going to get thanked. Moreover, you need to know who you're doing good to, all right? But I'm going to play this, Lord willing, there's no strikes or uh, copy infringements. Um, and get some scriptures, Lord willing, this will be edifying. <laughs> see that jesus didn't hate he washed feet okay he gets us he get uh, all of us love your he gets us.com love your neighbor so you see what they're trying to push okay and um you know you know we know that you know you how shai said Uh, John 14 and 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. All right. So 
you know, if you truly, truly are a follower of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, you're going to follow his commandments. Okay? And you come in to see that in the world, not everybody follows the commandments. Okay? Uh, many people, um, you know, they hate the law that was set forth. Okay? It tells you that in a second Ezra's okay which is a part of the scriptures let's see towards the bottom it says uh bear with me It says, Second Ezra's 8 and 50, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Okay? Many people are walking in great pride. They proclaim to love Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, but yet in, in deeds they deny him. You see? And you need to know to whom you're doing good to. Okay? You know, scriptures speak about being separate, okay? What what communion have light with darkness? You can't go around just washing everybody's feet. Now, Christians would have you to believe that love conquers all, but they don't even know what love is. Love is keeping of the commandments, you see? But many that say they're religious or say that they are uh, Christians or they have a denomination, they truly don't follow the commandments. And we know we cannot follow the, the entire um, a law of the Most High, but we do to the best of our ability, which some Christians throw out the law uh, in its entirety. So how can you really know what love is? Love is the keeping of the commandments. You see? It says, but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So you have to, you have to understand for yourself. And really know the, the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, whom the world uh, ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Jesus Christ is a whole nother spirit. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai um, requires obedience. There's a standard. There's a way of life. There's 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 a separate a separateness, if you will. Okay? If that's even a word. But, but you know, the, you have to be holy. Holy means separate. It means uh, dedicated. Okay, to a life of, of, of righteousness. You see? Now when you go back. Let's go back. This is in Ezra's as well. Let's see. Mm. Se second, we'll try second Ezra seven. Okay. Second Ezra's seven. Let's see. Se Second Ezra 7 and 20, 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. Okay? There's people that are going to perish because they despise the law that is set before them. For the Most High hath given straight commandment to such as came what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Okay? The Lord has laid it out in spades. He has given us the truth has given us the commandments to follow so that we may um, avoid punishment. It says, nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things. And that's a vain thing. That's useless. Okay. You cannot come to everybody and, 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 and treat them. Okay. As a disciple, when they don't follow the commandments, when it only is convenient to them to believe in the Most High, especially in a world that is so far from the Heavenly Father, so far from the truth, that when you tell them the truth, they reject it. We reject white supremacy. 
okay, in the form of Christianity, white Jesus, white angels, white is right. That is false. Okay, we are looking towards and waiting for the for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Hebrew power of Israel. Okay, Yahweh and his Messiah, Yahweh Shai. And then that's hard for people to grasp. It says, nevertheless, they were they were not obedient to him, but spake against him and imagined vain things. You see, people are imagining vain things. Like this commercial. <clears throat> okay. Jesus didn't hate. Well, the scriptures tells you in uh, Romans. Let's get it. Nine. And 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Okay. So Esau has been hated by Yahweh Bashim El Shai. So this is them imagining vain things. Okay. You know, trying to use what Yahweh Shai did and, and, and link it to just, you know, anybody and everybody. The Lord loves everybody. <clears throat> a priest with a mo. Okay. Some immigrants with a in a suburban neighborhood, right? Clean air now. You know, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, you know, someone for the for the um you know, for uh, that is pro Earth. Okay, I'm not I'm not sure the word to use, but you know, and over here they're uh, drilling oil. <clears throat> you know, looks like a, a, a an alcoholic mother. Okay, and and a young girl. All right, people that are against abortion and, and possibly a young girl who's about to uh, get an abortion. <clears throat> you see. The uh, the girl with the red hair, with the uh, you know the mean girls type chick on the right. Okay, Jake and a policeman. I mean, <clears throat> that's the vain things that people imagine. That you know, it's just about coming together, man. You know, but what does the scripture say? Second Corinthians chapter six. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? You see? And and you'll find yourself unequally yoked with the unbeliever. Okay? The scriptures say can two walk together lest they be agreed. And if you don't agree with people's lifestyles, with their philosophies, with their religion, with 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 with, with their beliefs. Okay, how are you going to walk together? How are you going to have fellowship? But see, Christians will, 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 will tell you that you can. And ultimately, you, you, you know, it's, it's difficult. You know, especially when it comes to, to, to belief in the Most High. There's so many different beliefs that conflict. It says, and what concord hath Christ with Belial, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? You see? An infidel. Strong's G, 571. Apistos. Apistos. Unbelieving. Incredulous. What does it, what does it say down here? Without Christian faith, especially a heathen. Okay. An unbeliever. What 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 does an unbeliever have to do with the believer, man? There's another definition I want to get, if I may. Infidel. Infidel.
And look what it says here, infidel, a a noun. <laughs> Opposing or traitorous to a given religion. You see, a traitor. Okay. What does a traitor have to do with someone who believes? You see? Now, when you go back, let's see. It says here, For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Okay? Now, in the book of John 13, where it says right here, How shall I wash the, the disciples' feet? Let's, let's get this part. Then cometh he, 6 verse, to Simon Peter. And Peter says to him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Yeah, which I answered and said unto him, What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Yeah, which I answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. You see? And this is a disciple of Yahweh Shai, Peter, the, 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 the head apostle. You know? He was of the mind frame, like, you, 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 you know, you're too great to wash my feet. But this was showing you how Shai's humility. And, and Yahweh Shai said, if I don't wash thee, then you don't have no part with me. You know, you don't have no communion with me. So they're, they're, they're making what Yahweh Shai did with the disciples a mock. It's a mocker, mockery, a sacrilege. Okay. Get this word part. We'll get it in the uh, NLT. NLT, no, Peter protested, you will never ever wash my feet. How shall I reply? Unless I wash you, you won't belong to me. Yeah. See? So how can you have fellowship with someone who doesn't belong to Yahweh Shai? How can you truly be in agreement? Okay. Uh, the scriptures say there's a time coming where where uh, the love of many shall wax cold. And we're already seeing it. But they're pushing this, this Jesus didn't hate when we read that he hated Esau. And this is the, the false doctrine. This is that, that beguiling spirit that they want to put on people. You know, the, those that truly believe, okay, they're, they're going to they're gonna ultimately be separate. They're going to know to whom they're doing good to. They're not going to want to be around unbelievers. I mean, we, we use wisdom, okay, and we have to deal in this world. But ultimately, at the end of the day, when Yahweh Shai comes, the Lord's going to, the Lord is looking for those that are worshiping him in sincerity and truth. Let's see. Let's get let's get let's let's get a uh, scripture. Something came to mind. <clears throat> okay, it's in the apocrypha. Okay, Sirach 12 and 5, let's get this. Well, let's get the book of Sirach. Sirach 12. Let's see. There's a scripture that comes to mind. This is Sirach 12. Four, give to the godly man and help not a sinner. You see, give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Because you don't want to be defiled with other men's sins, always being around them. Okay, you ultimately, uh, the, you know, will, will, will scripture say, um, let's see, real quick. Uh, 
uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 33, be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners, right? Being around the wrong people, doing, you know, you're going to be corrupted. It says, give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee thereby. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. You see? You receive twice as much evil for the good you do to sinners and to the ungodly. You got to be very careful. For the most high hated sinners and will pay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment. Give unto the good and help not the sinner. It says it again. You see that? So the, the spirit that they're pushing in these, you know, and this commercial is off, you know, uh, Jesus didn't teach hate. He washed feet. He gets us, all of us. You see, but what does it say here? For the most high hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment. Give unto the good and help not the sinner. So you got to be careful. You got to really be careful, man. Being around sinners and the ungodly. All right. So just wanted to... uh do a little bit of something on this okay lord willing it was edifying i mean you know we're in a world that is so divided you know how can you possibly you know get people to come together let alone wash their feet that's for disciples that's that's the type of behavior the righteous are going to exhibit to one another and in this world the love of many is waxing cold it's very wicked it's a very demonic uh society it's a lot of hate in the world which they're perpetrating, okay? And them going about to establish their own righteousness and imagining vain things, there's going to be a visitation for that, especially mocking, you know, Yahweh Shai and what, you know, his sacrifice, what it meant, his example. Okay, so Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rokakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and Yaquat, that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.